the average of numbers in arithmetic is known as the arithmetic mean of these numbers in statistics in addition to mathematics and statistics the arithmetic mean is frequently used in many diverse fields such as economics anthropology and history and it is used in almost every academic field to some extent for example per capita income is the arithmetic average income of a nation's population hi i am paras turukhia the facilitator for math subject and in this video i am going to discuss this question on arithmetic mean the question says find the mean marks of the following data where the data given is in the form of cumulative frequency the data says the number of students who scored less than 5 marks are 3 the number of students who scored less than 10 marks is 10 the number of students who scored less than 15 marks is 25 and so on till the end the number of students who scored less than 40 marks that covers all the students and the total number of students that is 80 so first thing that we need to do is convert this cumulative frequency distribution into class interval form so to find the class interval the gap of 5 is given in the cumulative distribution so less than 5 so first class interval will be 0 to 5 the next will be 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 30 to 35 and the last one will be 35 to 40 now the next thing is to convert the cumulative frequency into normal frequency of every class interval according to the cumulative frequency there are three students who scored less than 5 marks so the number of students who scored between 0 to 5 marks will remain 3 there are 10 students who scored less than 10 marks and the number of students that we require for second class interval is between 5 to 10 marks so we don't want the number of students who scored less than 5 marks so we subtract 3 from 10 so that gives the second frequency as 7 similarly the number of students who scored less than 15 marks are 25 and in our third class interval we require number of students who scored marks between 10 and 15 we don't want number of students who scored less than 10 marks so we subtract the frequency of less than 10 marks from 25 so that gives our next frequency as 15 so similarly if we subtract the consecutive cumulative frequency we get the frequency for every class intervals So this is how we convert the cumulative frequency distribution to a normal frequency distribution with exclusive form of class intervals Now to find the mean of this distribution we require to find the class marks that is xi values for every class interval and class marks are nothing but the midpoint of every class interval 
so the midpoint of 0 and 5 that is 2.5 midpoint of 5 and 10 that is 7.5 midpoint of 10 and 15 12.5 and so on we can find all the midpoints So after getting all the midpoints of class intervals we see that if we go for finding the mean by direct method it involves a calculation with decimal numbers. So instead of going with the calculation for direct method we will use here shortcut method or the step devi uh, or the deviation method now for short uh, for the shortcut method we need to assume a mean before finding the actual mean so let us assume our mean to be somewhere in the middle of the data that is 17.5 after finding the uh, after assuming a mean we need to find the deviation of all the xi values from the assumed mean so we have to subtract a from all x values so 17.5 minus 17.5 that value will be 0 all the values above 17.5 are smaller than 17.5 so that will give the negative difference and the differences are negative 5, negative 10 and negative 15 whereas all the values below 17.5 are greater than 17.5 so their differences will be positive these differences are 5, 10, 15 and 20 after getting the values of di we see that the now, now decimal part is reduced is removed and we will find the product of all fi values with their corresponding di values so we need to multiply corresponding values from column of fi and column of di so that will be negative 45 negative 70 negative 75 0 positive 80 positive 80 75 and 40 now we need to find the sum of all fi di values and we also need to find the sum of all frequencies the sum of all FIDA values is 85 and the sum of all FI values is sorry the sum of all FI values is already given in the cumulative form that is 80 so sum of all FI values is given as 80 The mean of this data is given by the formula summation fi di upon summation fi plus a. So we have summation fi di 85 and summation fi is 80. So 85 by 80 and our assumed mean was 17.5 so plus 17.5 85 by 80 is 1.0625 plus 17.5 that gives the mean marks of the following of the given observation given distribution as 18.5625 or we can round off this to two decimal places as 
18.56 marks so this is how we calculate the arithmetic mean of any given data the data if it is given in cumulative frequency distribution first we convert to an exclusive form of frequency distribution and using shortcut method we can find the mean thank you for learning